Hey guys, Entash here, and uh, today I wanted to talk about skills, skill power, skill builds, all the stuff to do with skills. And if you've been watching this channel, you'd know that in Destiny 1 and Destiny 2, I used to talk about balance and balance changes quite a bit. And um, I've actually moved away from doing that because I don't like doing it very much. I end up getting called a baby, a crybaby, um, I'm trying to ruin the game, all these different things, but I've noticed a ton of people have been asking me about skill power and skill mods and all this stuff, and, and a lot of people complain saying that the system is broken. And um, a lot of people have been saying, you know, why aren't you talking about this? This has, been, this has been broken since the start. And I just don't like doing it. I feel like I'm just a crybaby, and I, I don't know. I just don't like it. But I also have been frustrated with this system since the start of the game. And I also think that if I don't say something and I don't at least articulate some of my arguments, maybe it never gets fixed. And then we've got this lackluster system that no one gets to enjoy uh, to its full potential. So let me get into this. The nice thing is a lot of the developers for this game are very, very willing to discuss things and change. So maybe this, you know, gets the wheels turning. Who knows? Maybe we can fix this. But again, I'm going to say this before we start. I'm not a game developer. I don't know what their thoughts are. I don't know what their de uh, design philosophies are. I don't know where they see this system, right? I don't know if they'll fix this. I don't know if this will change anything. And even though I'm complaining, I'm not just doing this because it's like, oh, get the fucking views. I hope. I hope that we can get, get some changes here. So anyways, I'm not a professional, but let's talk about it. There's a couple of things I see with the skill system that are a little bit skewed right now or out to lunch and it's been since the beginning number one is the investment cost of using skill mods it's it's pretty expensive in a lot of cases and i'm going to show you in my gear why i think this but it's a pretty big decision to say i want to use skills i want to use skill mods i want to get those abilities going i want multiple charges and damage and uh, you need to invest for most mods a pretty healthy amount maybe too much the second one, though, is if you don't want to invest too much, if you don't want to put some, some time and effort into it, there's almost no mods in the game that you can even think about using. There's no way you can mod your stuff, and so essentially skills are just skills, and there's no skill mods you can actually use. And that's fine. You know, if that's how the system's going to be, if you want to use more powerful skills, you should probably have to invest in it, right? But... It, it leaves this whole system, this whole, this whole customization option out of the game, unless you're willing to put in a lot of stats into it. And number three is there is like a, a fundamental balancing issue, I guess you'd say, with this whole system um, that actually, I, I, I think they need to rework it in a, in a big way. So once you get into the higher gear score items... A lot of the skill power requirements are pretty static. There's not a lot of variation in it. But for example, if I wanted six ammo on my chem launcher, I'd need 200 or, or 2,536 skill power, right? Which is quite a bit of skill power in the current game. The issue is if you wanted just one extra ammo, uh, if you look at my mod here, I've got a level eight, uh, or no, sorry, level 14. 204 skill power, one ammo, okay? Now, I can make a brand new character and hope that some of these drop or even craft some of these mods and I can use these for my other character. And if you don't have a bunch of skill power, this is probably the best. There's no way to get this unless you make a new character or you saved it from the past. And so a lot of the customization you might want to enjoy in the end game. I honestly recommend you make a brand new character because in the current game, the only way to get some of these lower tier mods that you might want to use on your character is to literally grind for them on a brand new character, is to, is to get them on a new character and use them. Now the issue with this is there's no way to get this unless you do that. If I am a high tier player, 500 gear score, I can't craft low tier mods that I can use. And so these mods, if I don't have the, 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 the green and the blue tier level 10, level 15 mods, this whole system is null. So if you look at, uh, like for example, I'm going to go on my drone here, and we're going we're gonna to mod this drone out. 
there are no mods, like low tier mods that I have that I can even even use. I got one here. Okay, so I got a, a 4.9% level 14 one that I saved. But all these other ones, I need like a ton of investment to make these work. 2,000 skill power, right? There's no middle ground. There's no weaker ones. I can't just grab a, a small chunk of skill power and get these to work. I, I need to invest pretty heavily in this. And the issue is when you start doing that, you start giving away so many offensive stats that I don't think it's worth it in a lot of cases. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. So one example is the glove. So if I want to get some skill power on my glove, I need to give up one of the biggest damage rolls on any weapon you can get. You can get 12, 13% weapon damage on this glove. But if you needed that extra little bit of skill power, you could get some on your gloves. So I'm going to say, don't use your glove. That's just too much weapon damage to give up. So what about the mask? All right, we can get a little bit on our mask. But again, damage to elites is going to be probably one of the best in slot rolls here. You're probably going to want a nice chunk of damage to elites. And this roll is only like 100. 99, 100. I mean, this is 450 gear score. This is 498. I don't know all the rules on how this can roll, but not the biggest drop. If I only had skill power on here, maybe I could find some that's a little bit higher. 200, 300, maybe I could get it into the 500 range. But then I'm most likely not going to have damage to elites. One of the biggest damage boosts to your character in the end game at 34%. So let's just say, for shits and giggles, we don't use the helmet either because we're losing too much damage here and we're losing too much damage here. So what about the holster? <laughs> let's jump on the holster, All right? Let's get some skill power on this holster. I can get a, a nice chunk. Where is it? I think it maybe it's this one. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, no, I had it equipped. Jesus, I'm stupid. So I can get 600 here. I could probably get even more. Maybe I can even get 1,000 on this, right? But again, if I'm going to get this skill power, 627, which is less than half of the way to using some of these high-tier mods, this is only like a fourth of the way, I also would have to give up... Uh, where is it? 14% crit chance. Uh... A fourth of the way to the critical hit cap on my gear. Or what's some other ones here? 14.5% uh, crit chance. Almost 15% crit chance that I'd be losing out on. Right? And so I want you to picture this way. If you need to get multiple pieces of gear here to get some of these skill mods to activate, it's got to be freaking worth it. Because we're losing crit chance, most likely damage to elites, and most likely, weapon damage. We're losing, if we swapped out these three things, just these three things, and we got the max skill power roll, we might be losing out on 40 or 50% of our weapon damage. A very, very large chunk of weapon damage. And this might not even be enough to make the skill power work. So let's look at our skills here. Let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give one example of it, and that is the, uh, the turret. I think this one really paints the picture nicely. Uh, yeah, this one right here. 25% boost to my damage. On the turret. Only on the turret. I need 2,500 skill power to get a 25% boost to this turret damage. To this little, little dinky damage. There is no way in hell I am taking multiple, multiple hits to my weapon damage for a 25% boost to this turret damage. This thing is going to tickle. This thing is going to tickle little enemies. It's going to run around with a feather. Actually, no, it's going to be stationary with a feather and hope that the enemies come near it and, and give a little tickle. No way. You have to give up so much DPS to get a 25% boost in damage. Right? Are you kidding me? No way. All right, let, what about the other mod? We got it. We got the other one here. We got some extra mortars, sniper ammo. We get some extra duration, right? But still, 2,200 points for extra duration? The issue I'm starting to find here is if I'm going into all of my armor and I'm going skill power and skill power and skill power and skill power, right? I'm losing out on all of my other stats, all of my major damage stats. My critical chance is tanking. My headshot damage is tanking. My, my overall weapon damage is tanking, right? My damage to elites is probably going to tank. And if you do all the math on it, 
between the cooldowns and the low base damage on a lot of these skills, it is not worth it. And I know you could say, well, I like to use skills. Okay, absolutely. But then they should make it super, super powerful if you're willing to invest in it and do skills. Because right now, there's no sort of scaling on these skill abilities. If you look at my character here, um, I've got 2100 skill power, not an amazing amount by any means. I could pick up more uh, on some of these different ones. Like there's, where is it? Uh, do I even have one? Like this one. I've got some skill duration. Kills by active skills gives more skill damage. Like there's, there's things I could do to boost this up. Skills have a 25% chance to, re uh, skill kills have a 25% chance to reset the cooldown. I know that I could build into some of this stuff and make myself a little bit stronger in the skill department. But they're still so average if you do this. I, I, I can't imagine myself going from a hundred or, or a million weapon DPS to 300,000 just so my turret hits a little harder. In a lot of cases, if you're looking at something like the chem launcher, you know, yes, absolutely, I can boost up how much ammo I have, but even the base heal, like the base armor, isn't changing with all the skill power. So we're at 5,000, or sorry, Jesus, I can't read. We're at 50,000 HP healed, right, on this chem launcher. Let's change back to my other gear set. Let's change it. And now let's look at this. This heal don't change. It's still 50,000, and so yes, I'm going to be missing out on a couple of, of, of charges, but the base heal is, is the same. Now, could I boost that base healing? Yeah, I could. I, can, I could boost it up, you know, 40% here. Absolutely, I can change that. But there's no natural scaling. There's no natural scaling with a lot of this stuff. And so even if I get into the... 8,000 realm of skill power, right? If I just max it out and I'm using all these buffs to get five or 6,000 skill power, well, I'm not going to get any benefit because it's not going to scale with me anyways. So essentially, what ends up happening is I need whatever this limit is, this is as much skill power as I need because going beyond that is not going to help you. In almost every situation, there's, there's no benefit. The cooldown is not changing, the heal isn't changing, the damage isn't changing. So what essentially what you want to do is you want to hit these caps. But again, if you want to hit these caps, you need to give up so much weapon damage that I don't know if it's worth it. I know that you guys want to use skill builds, and I know it's a different playstyle, and it's fun for you. But if you're looking at if you're looking at what you have to give up to get it, in a lot of cases, for most people, I think the answer is going to be, well, that's not worth it. Because for me, I haven't even touched skills. I haven't even touched skill builds. I haven't even entertained this whole different side of the game because I just don't see the value. I can't bring myself to do it because in its current state, it's not powerful enough. It just isn't powerful enough for me to care or worry about it. And so what ends up happening is I'm left in a state of low skill power where if I want to even have any utility, I need to use, um, you know, level 14 green mods. And if that's the case, I need to go make another character and farm out and, and craft low tier stuff to ever get any value out of this system. And I think that's wrong. I think that's a, that's a, that's a mixed up, messed up thing. I know that I can't have six extra ammo. But if I want any extra ammo, if I want to enjoy a little bit of utility on these skills, I need to now go farm on another character, low tier stuff, and hope that I get a good roll on it. And that just seems so backwards. You know, it, I, I wish there was some middle ground. Give me some in the in the 400 range or the 500 range. Give me a high end one that's that's in the, the that's in the six or 700 range, so I don't gotta invest crazy amounts of points just to get it. If I got one in the six or 700 range, right? Two ammo for 750 skill power, I could probably get away with that. You know, I'll, I'll throw it on a, on a backpack or something. I'll, I'll find some somewhere where I can enjoy some skill power. I'm sure I could find something, a couple pieces where I can give up some health or some armor, right? I'm sure I could find a couple ways to make this work. But as it sits right now, it's like, oh my god, let's just tank all my damage real quickly just so I can equip one little skill that gives me almost no benefits. 
You see what I'm saying? It's just frustrating me. It's just frustrating me that I pretty much have to dive into this head first to get these values that in, in most cases, I don't, I don't care about them, right? If I want 36% more duration, I need 1800 skill power. If I want, you know, 40% more duration, I need 2000 skill power. And I'm going to lose like hundreds of thousands of DPS for that. And I can't, I can't say that that's worth it. If it was scaling and this health amount was coming up and I'm getting more duration, hell yes, I'll do it. But until they add some sort of scaling or they add higher values, I am not touching skill builds and I don't think I recommend anyone do it either. And if you're going to do it, you hit that cap, the absolute minimum, so that you're not wasting stats and you're not getting extra skill power that's not valuing or valuable. Okay? My other thing is, if you want to use some of these mods on here, but you don't want to invest a bunch, go make a new character. Because until they change that, the best way to use some of these low-tier mods is to get them on a new character and craft them. And that seems odd to me. So, I don't know what the fix is. They need scaling. They need better values. They need to up maybe the amount of skill power you can get on gear. I don't know. But right now, the investment ain't worth it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.